Santi. Es. I'm on my way. Matilda. So, so yeah, so I'm on my way. Wait, it's a little bit of a soundtrack. It's been a good few days. Um, I think that John T and Mike are pretty good people, you know. Um, we had a good few nights, and then the day's just, you know, chilling it out. Okay, I'll explain one more time. Right. Beer pong is a game that quite simply involves you throwing a ball into a cup. That's it. But what I don't get is where are the controllers? I don't understand what you mean. Pong? You said it was beer pong, so it must have some element of pong in it. Pong? The retro game? I don't understand the reference. Boop. Boop. No? No. Hmm. I'll explain this one more time though. Right, okay. okay? We were spending quite a bit of time together. He was teaching me how to play beer pong earlier. And... <laughs> oh. I know how to play beer pong. And the goal is for you to throw the ball into your opponent's cups. So when you get it in, they drink it. So... Yeah. And you drink what's in the cup. What if it falls over? It won't be, because we waited out the liquid. Won't it? So okay, it won't, right, it won't, okay. It won't fall over. I'd rather play pong. Right, guys, right. Question. Mm hmm. Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Why is she not up on the wall? Better question. What are you doing with Emily's Cosmopolitan magazine? I thought it was about cocktails. No. Oh, where is Emily? Yeah, I haven't seen her. To be fair, you might just be alright having that, because I haven't seen her in three days. I, I don't really know much about her yet. I think she's just kind of been locked away in a room, or maybe out. Because her door's just always locked. Um, I get this feeling she might be a mature student. Or she's got a kid, I don't know. I, I've kind of shied myself away from them, but today I'm going to... I'm going to go and ask if I can go out with them because I think that that will really help us get to know each other and all I've been doing is, is studying. How's it going with Emily? <laughs> um, good, you know, I think maybe it's difficult for her being the only girl in the house. You know, all I can do is stick out an olive branch and hope she'll uh, grasp on to stop her from drowning. But, uh you know, I think maybe she's got a little soft spot for me, and you know, maybe chiselling slightly into my hard exterior. <laughs> no one's written me a poem before, but it's really sweet, I guess. Yeah, I'd rather just sort of steer clear of boys at the moment, though. I was downstairs earlier on. I was in I was in the kitchen, microwaving some pop tarts, and I looked out the window, and Jonty was there with some girl carrying her shopping. I worked out this girl's Emily because she had a key and she was opening our door. I just don't understand though. When I've gone town with Jonty to like do shopping, I've carried his shopping for him because I I thought you know. I'm a nice guy, that's the sort of thing nice guys do. Why is he carrying her shopping? Who's going to carry my shopping? I don't know anymore. The people I'm living with, they're a bit loud. <laughs> they're not very focused either. Mike! It's the left one, the hot tap, or the right one, the cold tap. But... What can you do about that? So, Emily's... Emily's finally decided she's going to hang out with us, you know? Um, I'm slightly weary, to be honest. Um, I'm all game for having a, like, having a good night out, and the more the merrier. It's just, we've had a few nights where it's just the boys, and it's been, some, it's been pretty good. I mean, Mike maybe. Maybe need some work, but we'll get there. 
Um, but, I mean, hopefully Emily won't be too much of a downer on it. Um, maybe she'll surprise me, but we'll have to see. And then, with regards to Mike, um, I don't know, I, I think, I think this is new to him, this whole concept. He doesn't seem to be a big drinker, so I, I want to go over that with him. Um, John T actually showed me this picture of Rob Dylan, um, and, and as you can see, it's on the side that says, get born. Um, and I think that's, that's what Mike needs to do, he just needs to get born. Do I feel confident that anything's going to happen with Emily tonight? Yeah, of course. You know, I've, she responded well to my poem, and if she responds well to the poem, then she will respond well to me, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go in there, look her in the eyes and say, Emily, what's up? Me, you, my bed, one bottle of Prosecco. I'm kind of disappointed in John T. He, he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I won't, I won't leave early. Left early. He basically spent the night trying to hit on Emily and then he saw some other blonde girl. Must have thought it was Emily. Cause, well, well she, put, she put up less of a fight, let's say that. Yeah, I think I fucked up. Oh, shh. I wish I was you. I want to be you. Alright, um, I'm gonna hit the shop now if anyone wants anything. Why don't you sit down, mate? Okay. Mike, my, uh... Sorry, mate. It's not me, she'll be apologising to. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Shut up, George. Don't tell him to shut up. What? Don't talk to him like that. Are you okay? Are you fine? Then it's just you, Emily, isn't You're it? You're so obnoxious! What have I done wrong? I'm upstairs feeling guilty and when I'm here to say sorry, I mean, feel like shit. What's your problem? What have I done to you? You know exactly what you've done, John T. Listen, I'm not your fucking boyfriend. I can't cheat on you. Fuck it, you know, I don't need this. Hey, you know what? You know what? Sit! I've had it up to here with you. You're such a pretentious asshole. You cannot go up treating people like that. And you? He's not your boyfriend. He did not cheat on you. Stop overreacting. And come on, George. Why have you got to be so childish? And you know what? Above all, why? Why do you have to look up to him? Come on. You guys just need to get your shit together. I don't want to live here anymore. Do you want to talk about it? No, thank you, mate. I fucked up. Gotta give it some space. God knows what's going on, what's going on her head. She's she's livid. She's she's in her room making all sorts of noises, packing her bags or something. And on top of that, Jonty's having some sort of identity crisis, just giving everything up and throwing it, throwing all the poems off his walls. And 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 Mike's just he's gone from this humble mountain to this big active volcano. And no, it's just me in the middle of it all. And I don't... 
I don't want it to be like this. I. I liked it how it was. Even even Emily. They're they're my friends. They're, they're some of the best friends I've had. I don't I don't want any of them to leave. I've slept on it, and I think that's best if I left the boys to it. I'm I'm not very happy in this house, and I I don't think Eli's for me. Yeah. In friendship, we're free to expose parts of ourselves that nobody knows. The thing that sustains it and sets it apart is not something spoken, it is a bond of the heart. True friends are rare, in a lifetime two or three. I'm so glad it happened between us and we. <laughs> that was dreadful. <laughs> what?